This is Ruda Holiday Park and we're in Croyd, North Devon. We've been here several times and the park's split up across the road. There's the touring parts, fishing lakes and a short walk down to the beach. Probably see the sea down there. It's a beautiful park here, there's lots going on. But there are no pets at this park, you can't bring your dog here. This is one of the open camping fields. You've got views of the ocean and a very short walk to the beach. There is no electric on this part. But as you can see, it's a very busy time. It's the summer holidays in the UK. And it's back to back tents, campers, anyone that doesn't need to use electric. But the field is very clean. Quite easy to pitch a tent. It's quite sandy on the pitches. Another one of the open camping fields where you just free pitch. There is some electric points at this side. If you need electric to your tent or your Torah, you can park on here. Some beautiful views. And again, just a couple of minutes walk from the beach here. Very busy at this time. Quite a big open field for tents and tourists. All of these pitches have electric. We stayed on this part many times. You can see in the distance a hill over there. It's a nice walk up there and you get some lovely views. And just at the bottom of the hill is a little cafe shop where you can get cream teas, milkshakes, sandwiches. And there's a little rocky part at the edge of the beach where you can do some crab lining, rock pooling. It's beautiful. The amenities are quite good here. So there's bins for all your rubbish, there's showers, toilets, and there is actually, which is quite handy when you've got young children, a family bathroom, which has a proper bath, a toilet, and a sink, and the washing areas. If you're camping, hi there! Happy holidays! <laughs> Great for you in a tent and you don't have your own sink. So the ladies and gents shower rooms are really nice, there's several toilet blocks, the showers are free to use and they're quite hot and spacious. Changing areas, again fantastic if you've got young children, so all your clothes aren't getting wet, you can get changed, you can sit while you get dried off and the showers are awesome in here and fairly clean as well. So just beside one of the touring fields you've got many static caravans which are beautiful. Sleep up to eight people some of these caravans have their own shower and toilet some of them have two toilets so great again if you've got young kids or a big family nicely spaced out got your own parking space beautiful. I don't think I've ever seen this place before. We've been in some time a few times. It is a bank holiday weekend this weekend. So a lot of people come in just for the three or four nights. So now we're heading into Croydview Glamping Village. These are like a canvas overlay over a wooden structure. So it's like you're camping. They have a full kitchen with hob and microwave, a dining area, a seating area with TV and some of these come with a toilet, not all of them, but some of these come with a toilet and they don't cost much more actually. I think we came for a week in October and we stayed in number one over here with a full kitchen, toilet, lounge area two single beds for the children and a double room for mum and dad and it was about £112 for the week which is pretty awesome the only thing was we did have a rat come in in the middle of the night 
and eat its way through our snacks and we didn't have anything open they chewed their way through a bag of crisps and we heard it in the night so we had to kind of seal everything into Tupperware so if you stay in one of these glamping tents there's parking spaces at the end or around the outside for your car and you're right next to the park which our kids love does whip up these clamping tents do make a bit of noise we have flaps banging against the side of the wooden poles and the structure and they did disturb us quite a bit in the night when we had some windy nights and we did also bring our heated blanket with us to put over the bed because we came in October to stay in one of these so the weather was on the cooler side so I would recommend that just at the side here we've got some more static caravans very spacious very roomy very comfortable and again look over the bay there absolutely beautiful this is a very clean beach and dogs are allowed on the beach there's toilets just at the top for your convenience and beach showers as well. If you're staying in the glamping tents, you do get the use of the private shower block. They are key coded and you're given the code when you get here. I don't have that code today because we're not staying in the glamping tent, but the showers, not, very, not much hotter, not much cleaner. A lot quieter, especially at these busy times. There's men's and ladies. And then another wash area that anyone can use for their hot washing. So I'm just stood facing the main caravan park where the statics are. I'm at the back of the swimming pool that's on this site and that's one of the water slides that goes down. It's pretty fun. You've got to be over a metre tall to go on there and you just sit on a mat and slide down. It's pretty awesome. This is not included with the park but you get a massive discount if you're staying on the park but it's open for anyone's use. You can hire surf equipment around here. Hire surfboards, longboards or shortboards. The longboards are actually easier to use for beginners. Speaking from experience, you can hire wetsuits. And the sea can be pretty cool most of the year. <laughs> so I would recommend, and also it protects you. If you're new to surfing, the surfboard hits you a lot. So I'd recommend a surfing suit or a wetsuit for protection, as well as from the cold. So if you're coming to Rude, you'll park in the main car park here. It does get busy to check in at reception. We were very efficient. We've got a nice restaurant on site, which is Italian. The food here is beautiful. You can eat in or take away. Cascade swimming pool. You don't need to book in advance for the swimming pool, but they let you in for one hour. They give you a wristband, and basically, 
every 15 minutes they call the colour out and you've got to come back in. So it's well organised, there's never a huge queue. And you're never waiting more than 15 minutes, maybe half an hour at the busiest times. But it's a lovely pool inside, it's got a wave pool. There's some lots of lovely slides for the little children. Got a takeaway. Fish and chippy. And again, the food here is really nice. I've entered a breakaway from cooking. Quiet at this time of day, midday. The shop here is well stocked. You can get pretty much anything you need in there. There's a fun family area, arcade zone, family fun and games. And a few bits going on in here. Air hockey, machines, grab a toy. Penny Falls, this is one of my favourites as a kid. Oh, we love these. And you win tickets here, so you can trade the tickets in for gifts. And a couple of kids' rides. Toy Story. Oh, it's not working at the minute. I'm sure they'll have that up and running soon. There's a bar and a restaurant in here. And they do have a children's club where they do children's activities and things. And another arcade. Good fun if you want to get out of the sun or you come in here for the evening. You want to cook around with the kids. Quite loud in here. There's lots of games. You win tickets on some of these as well. Penny falls. Oh, it's, oh, oh. And Dad's winning the jackpot again. <laughs> you get the jackpot, Dad. We won the jackpot yesterday in town. Almost a thousand tickets. Yes, lad. So we have a restaurant in here, which is quite nice. We've eaten in here a couple of times. Quite spacious, there's plenty of room. And it's pretty much open for lunch. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There's some outdoor seating. And a few TVs in here. And sometimes they have a bouncy castle outside for the kids. Oh, the children's play area. Soft play for the children. That's a bit too young for ours now, but two, three, maybe even four-year-olds who come and burn off some energy in here. Our kids loved it when we came last year. But it's a little bit small for ours now. There we go. And this is just open and free to use for anyone that's staying on the site. In Croyd Borough side of the the Park Dean Resort has the fishing lake on it. Looks, it was quite a good size. Look, fishing lake on it. Walk from the main entrance over there. What you have is a little, a little walk down to the, to the beach, and we'll take you down there now.
So it's a van holiday Monday with, with clement weather in the UK and that's pretty much how busy the, the beach can get. You know, it's actually still amazing because you just get yourself a little spot. Do a bit of bodyboarding, sunbathing, sandcastle building. But that's like the coastal road in. Just, just in the distance. Are we gonna play on the beach? That's a nice road in. You get to see all the, all the sweeping beach. Remember being on here with Dad's metal detector? Yeah. Looking for a treasure or a